Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can learn Tenkara. Tenkara is a simple Japanese form of fly fishing that was made for fishing up in high mountain streams for trout and char. Maybe you stumbled across my videos and saw me fishing this way, or you heard someone talk about it, or you saw someone fishing on the stream with a Tenkara rod and you want to learn more. This is the video for you. I'm going to talk about six different ways you can learn Tenkara, starting with the cheapest and going toward the most expensive. Links to all of these things that I mentioned will be in the video description, and I'll also try to put them in the top comment in the comments section down below. So the first way to learn Tenkara, and this one is for free, is to use various online resources. Since I make Tenkara videos, I think that's a good place to start. You should watch my videos, you should watch Titan Tenkara's videos, and you should watch Flicky Flies. Those three channels are Tenkara-specific channels, and by watching these videos you'll get an idea for what Tenkara is, what it's good for, what it's not so good for. You'll see where we're catching fish, like where in the stream we're pulling a fish out. In my videos, when possible, I try to put an arrow to where the fish are coming from. And I think that by watching our videos, you'll just get an idea of the rhythm of Tenkara, of, of just how it works. So in general, those are the channels that I would recommend, but there are lots of others. Just search for Tenkara on YouTube and sort by videos from the last month. You'll see lots of people making Tenkara videos. There is one Tenkara video I would recommend to everyone who is interested in learning Tenkara. It's by Tenkara USA. Let me consult my notes here down below the camera to tell you exactly what the video is called. It's called The Complete Video Guide to Tenkara, 17 minutes covering everything you need to know about Tenkara. So that's 17 minutes, 21 seconds, really good video going over, like it says, everything you need to know. Tenkara rods, what Tenkara is, casting, landing. If you're new to Tenkara and you take just one thing away from this video, it should be that. Go watch that video. Great video. I'm not affiliated with Tenkara USA in any way. It's just a really good video. And then also as far as video goes, I would recommend if you have specific questions, just searching for YouTube videos for that specific topic. So if you wanted to learn how to attach the line to the rod, search for that on YouTube. So continuing on also in the free online resources category are Tenkara blogs and websites. The first of these is Tenkara Talk by Jason Class. He's been blogging about Tenkara for years and years. He has a section on his site called How To and Resources. So if you just go to tenkaratalk.com, in the menu at the top, it'll say How To and Resources. Click on that, that'll give you lots of good information about Tenkara. And then next there's a website called Discover Tenkara, and I'll talk about that site a little bit more later on in this video. But they have a really good article all about Tenkara. It's called Tenkara Fishing, Your Complete Guide to Everything. It's like thousands of words going over all aspects of Tenkara. Uh, that is a really good single resource for you to look at in addition to that single video that I recommended. So that video and that article, those two things together will give you a lot of good information. It'll get you on your way to learning more about Tenkara. And then also on the Tenkara USA website, there is a, uh, again, in their menu, there's a Learn Tenkara link. And if you click that link, again, they have articles and videos showing various aspects of Tenkara. So we've covered YouTube and blogs and websites, but there are other resources, more kind of crowdsourced resources. Facebook groups are a good example of this. There's Tenkara Anglers, there's American Tenkara Anglers, there's Appalachian Tenkara Anglers. If you're in a specific state or maybe even in a specific country, you can try to find Facebook groups that cater directly toward you, wherever you are. But in general, those three groups are good ones for just general Tenkara questions if you have them. There's a good Tenkara forum called the Ten Colors Tenkara Forum. And I th I'd say that's more like intermediate to advanced Tenkara people talking about stuff, but also good resource, good place to ask questions if you have them. And then there is a Tenkara subreddit on Reddit. And if you have a specific question about something, you can search that subreddit to see if other people have already asked that question. If not, you can ask it and, and various people will try to answer your question for you. The second way to learn Tenkara that's also free is to meet up with someone. And this is what I did. This is how I learned Tenkara. I had a, a friend who I knew through rock climbing. And when I found out that he was into Tenkara, I pestered him basically until he, he relented and we went fishing and he taught me a lot and it was really great. You might not have a friend already 
who knows Tenkara, but you can turn to the resources that I already mentioned, the Facebook groups, the forum, and the subreddit. You can post to those and say, hey, I'm in North Carolina. Is there anyone who's willing to take me out on the river for a day? And to sweeten the deal a little bit, you can bribe them. And so that would make it not free, but you know, still <laughs> relatively inexpensive. Take them to dinner, buy them a drink, pay for gas, whatever it takes. Just keep in mind that not everyone likes or prefers to fish with other people. Like I have people reach out to me asking me to take them fishing and I prefer to do it alone. I prefer fishing alone. And so I'm not, I'm not the best person <laughs> to reach out to for that. But by putting yourself out there, you can hopefully find other people who, who would be interested in, in fishing with other people. And like, it's great to have the, the technical knowledge, the, the theoretical stuff that you've learned from watching videos or from reading the, the forums or whatever, but it's really, really, really helpful to get that on stream instruction. For example, if you are fishing with a Tenkara rod and you're having trouble casting, like either your line is getting tangled or it's just falling in your feet, falling at your feet in a, in a pile, someone who knows Tenkara can watch you and say instantly what you're doing wrong. Maybe you're casting too fast or too slow or you're not moving the rod tip back and forth enough. And that's something that can be hard for you to figure out on your own. But if you're with someone else, they can really help you learn well quickly. If that doesn't work for you or interest you for whatever reason, there are Tenkara meetups that go on throughout the year. So there was one earlier this year in Kentucky or North Carolina, somewhere out that way. There's one in June this year in Wisconsin in the Driftless. There's one in July in Oregon. And so again, following those Facebook groups is a good way to, to learn about those. Following the TenkaraAngler.com website, which is kind of a, a crowdsourced Tenkara magazine that's online. Following that website is a good way to, to keep on top of these things. I've never been to any of these. I'm planning on going to one, at least one this year to the Driftless one. But these can be good if you are new to Tenkara because, again, you can get on-stream instruction from a variety of people for free. You might have to pay for a, a campsite and a campground, but that's a pretty nominal fee compared to hiring a guide, for example, which is what we're going to talk about a little bit later in this video. The third way to learn Tenkara for free is to just go out on your own with gear and go fish and just learn through your trial and error, through your experiences. Now, obviously, it's not free in the sense that you have to have this gear. Either you have to buy it yourself or maybe you can borrow it from a friend or borrow it from someone else that, that you might know. But once you do have the gear, it is free to just go out and flail on the creek, flail on the river until you're able to catch fish. When you first start out, you're gonna be losing a lot of fish. That happens to everyone. If you are able to get a fish on the hook, on the fly, you'll land that fish maybe one out of five times, one out of 10 times even at the start, but don't get too discouraged. It does, it does get better from there. If you don't know where to fish, you can start off by just Googling small stream fishing in Wyoming, for example, or in Washington. Just Google it, try to find creeks to fish, places that other people are fishing, because if other people are fishing there and having success, there's a good chance that you can do that too. You can call up fly shops, you can look at, at fly fishing guidebooks for free, you can do that at the library, or you can buy one for you know, $25 on Amazon for your local area. I've actually written a blog post about how I find creeks to fish, and I'll put that in the links down below, along with all the other links for things that, that we're talking about here. And Tenkara was really made for, for creeks and streams for flowing water, but if you don't have any of that nearby, or if you don't know where to go, you can always just go to a local pond and try to catch fish there. And that's not, that's not the, the most fun or enjoyable way to, to practice Tenkara, but it's better than not doing it at all, not fishing at all. If you can't even make it to a pond, you can always practice casting in your front yard or your backyard, just getting that, that movement down, getting the fly to be approximately where you want it to go can be really helpful. I know some people get a, an empty tuna can or like a cat food can and try to cast into that or a, a plate or a pie tin, a pie pan, something like that, just anything put it on the ground, try to cast your fly to hit that. And that's a good way to improve your casting and accuracy when you can't actually make it out to the water. That's the end of the more or less free ways to learn Tenkara. Next up, we're gonna be spending a little bit of money for our education here, but it's definitely worth it. And uh, that is books. So let's start off with, with two books that I recommend. The first is 
This one, Tenkara by Daniel Gallardo. It's a great book. It's full color, lots of pictures, diagrams, stories. Really good book. You can buy this from Amazon or the Tenkara USA website. This guy, Daniel Gallardo, is the founder of Tenkara USA. And he's the guy who essentially introduced the outside world to Tenkara, the world outside of Japan, rather, to Tenkara. So he knows what he's talking about. Really, really great book. This is the one book I would recommend if you're interested in Tenkara. And if you are new to stream fishing in general, this is a really great book. Reading Trout Water by Dave Hughes. Again, full color, lots of pictures, and he's got lots of pictures of, of rivers and streams with, with fish marked on there. You can see the little white diagrams or, or white pictures there and there showing where fish can be found in streams. And so a uh, really good book if you're new to, to fishing in general and don't really know where to catch fish. These two books, highly recommended. This one is $24 on Amazon. This one is $25 or $30 on Amazon. Both definitely worth it. Let's go on to category number five, the fifth method of learning Tenkara. Again, we're moving up in price a little bit, and that is through online courses. As far as I know, there's really only one company, one website doing this, and that's Discover Tenkara. And their courses are generally aimed at the, the intermediate angler. Like, you know how to tie a fly on to your, to your Tenkara rod. You can, you can cast it, basically. But once you've got those like really basic things down, then Discover Tenkara is a really good resource for more video courses. Their courses are video-based. They do have additional supplemental resources. And they have a few different kinds of courses. They range from, from fly manipulation videos to fly tying videos and courses and on-stream fishing sessions with extremely experienced Japanese Tenkara anglers. And this is stuff that you can't really find in other places. You can find some of this on YouTube, but not really. Uh, Discover Tenkara is a really good resource for Japanese Tenkara, for Tenkara from Japan and the techniques that they use there. These courses range from $20 to about $97. For beginners, I would recommend their Manipulations Volume 1 course, which is about $50. And it's a video course showing you different ways of manipulating the fly. And so different ways of like pulsing the fly or moving the fly around in the water to, to further entice fish to, to go after it. And I've actually teamed up with Paul from Discover Tenkara to help spread the word about these courses, to share these courses with my audience. And so if you are interested in, in any of these courses, click the links that I have in the video description or again in the top comment of this video and I will get a commission on those sales and that'll help support me, support the continued creation of the videos that I make and then that'll also help the Discover Tenkara guys continue to, to bring their videos that are mostly about, again, Takara from Japan, Takara techniques from Japan. I think it's a really good partnership. Obviously, if you are watching my Tenkara videos, you like watching Tenkara videos, uh, I don't really focus on Tenkara education videos. My videos are more entertainment, just me fishing and and you know following along with my adventures. If you would like to focus more on the education side, on the learning side, the Discover Tenkara courses are really great for that. And if you want to buy all of their digital courses at once, you can do that too. Normally it's $297. If you use the coupon code that I put on the screen here, it'll give you a further 10% discount. In the description here, I'm going to put a link to that first course that I recommend, the Manipulations Volume 1 course. I'll put a link to all of their courses so you can see the list uh, of their handful. I think they have like six, seven, eight courses, something like that. And I'll also put a link to the bundle of all of their courses if you want to check that out. And then the sixth way to learn Tenkara, and this is the most expensive way, is to sign up for classes or to get a guide. So I've never done this before. I've never paid for a guide. I've never paid for, an, for any kind of on-stream instruction. So I can't really speak from personal first-hand experience about this, but like I've observed these things happen. I've heard people talk about them online and I know people who have fished with, with guides, for example, and in general, it's worked out well for them. They recommend it. If you can't find someone to help teach you for free, hiring a guide is definitely worth it. Cause again, like just having someone answer all your questions directly and put you on fish right away and, and critique what you're doing to help you do it better. 
These are all really valuable things that are worth paying for if you have the means to do so. So how do you find a Takara guide? If you just Google it, you'll find lots of information. There's a company based out of Utah called Tinkara Guides LLC, and they've been doing Tinkara guiding for years. There are a few different guides who, who guide both in Utah and Kentucky. So if you're interested in, in either of those places, then reach out to those guys. Uh, Tinkara USA has a, what do they call it? A guide network. So on their website, they have a, a list and a map of, of guides from various places around the world. So if you are interested in a specific location, you can hopefully find a place there on their website to, to help you get out on the water and go fishing. And if you have a more specific location in mind, you could just Google for Tinkara Guide Yellowstone or something like that, you know, be specific with your Google search. And again, also you can ask on the, the Facebook group, see if anyone knows any guide in a specific area. And this isn't especially cheap. A guide will run about $250 for a few hours up to, you know, five, six hundred dollars or more for a full day of guiding. I think if you can afford that, it is worth it. But that if you can afford it part is obviously that's that's the tricky part. That's the that's the problem. If you don't want to do the one-on-one -on -one guide thing, there are Tinkara schools throughout the year. Again, Tinkara Guides LLC, they put on uh, one or two of these a year. They have one this year in the Driftless and they have one in Utah. I don't remember the, the price off the top of my head. It's three, four hundred dollars, I think somewhere in that range. And it's basically a couple days worth of on-stream instruction with, uh, in the past, it's been with talented and well-known anglers from Japan. I think recently because of COVID, among other things, they've been offering those schools on their own without the, the pros from Japan coming in. But they themselves were taught by the experts and they, they themselves have studied in Japan. And so it's basically the, the same stuff they're gonna be learning. Uh, in Japan, but it's in person in the US. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have additional resources or tips for people learning Tenkara. Uh, leave those in the comments down below, and, and it'll be interesting to see how you guys learned Tenkara or what tips you have for those just starting out. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.